Have you ever shocked yourself with a decision that felt so bold that it actually redefined the entire path forward? And what made it happen? What made you decide to make that shocking decision for yourself, for your life, for your business? Hi, everyone. I'm Catherine Lucado, your host of Mindset Medicine. And thank you for tuning in again. If you like what you hear, if you want to share this episode, I would be so grateful. You know, following me, subscribing to me, and just liking the episode or making a comment, it really helps. I hope you enjoy this episode because it's a fascinating one. And we're just going to freewheel this today. Uh, I have a couple of bullet points in front of me, but this is based off of something that happened yesterday. And I thought that this might resonate with you as well. So let's dive right in. Let, let's go into the realm of fearless change making, fearless decision making, trusting your intuition, having clarity for your future, and just diving in to the art of embracing a decision that actually feels really good when you make it in the moment. And this all sounds so cryptic, doesn't it? But uh, let me tell you, it's actually pretty interesting. So let's start this off first. Before I even get into my story with you, um, the allure of familiarity. And what is that? What is the allure of something that is familiar? We know that the comfort zone is just such a comfy, cozy place, isn't it? But not much happens there. We don't really grow. We don't expand. We don't evolve who we are. We will never become the best version of us when we are sitting in comfort. And I know that I myself used to love comfort, especially if you feel anxious or you are feeling stressed about decisions or the road ahead. I've noticed that when I didn't know the direction I wanted to go, when I didn't know in what direction I wanted to uh, scale my business, whether it was when I owned uh, an entertainment center in Europe, in my real estate business, you know, even as a younger agent, do, do I start a team? Um, do I start a new niche of luxury? properties. And, you know, that comes with its own costs and expenses and so on. Do you start a team? And then when I moved to the next, you know, the next stage and I said, well, do I open a brokerage? You know, is that, is that what I want to do? Is that what I feel drawn to? And this has gone on and on and on right from the beginning when I moved to Europe by myself and I was teaching in one school but I wanted to move up the ladder in the teaching realm, in the education realm. And I wanted to get into these private high schools, which were very elite, um, almost like country clubs. But I loved the, the value that they offered the students was just phenomenal. Like I had never encountered just how much opportunity could be provided to to students in an educational institution, right? So, and of course they would hire the best of the best. So all of these decisions that I've made all along the road all came from a place of knowing what I wanted to do next. My problem has always occurred when my vision wasn't clear. So you achieve that one milestone goal and then you achieve the next one and the next one. I have come I in the past have gotten to a point where I just stopped and I said I'm not sure what's next my my vision was not clear and the problem with that is that any decision that comes out of an unclear mind or an unclear vision is not necessarily going to be the best decision that you make for yourself or your family or for your life, or for your health, or for your wellness. And I find that when you get to that point, when you start making decisions, you are listening to other people. 
and their vision for you, or you feel trapped that you are actually helping to create their vision rather than your own. Have you ever felt that? Have you ever felt yourself falling into someone else's vision, goals, agendas, because it was just easier than thinking about what yours are? So the allure of comfort is, is for some people, it's, it's a nice place to be because there isn't much stress or anxiety there. But if you want to grow and you want to evolve and you want to try something different and you want to innovate, you have to move away from that. So how do we do that? Well, we shift with vision and clarity. And if you are trying to do this on your own, if you are trying to gain clarity on your own, it's not easy. Um, it's easier if you do have a coach or a mentor because they know the questions to ask you to, to extract that vision that you're thinking about or even not thinking about. Maybe you're not even sure what that next vision is or what that next future step is for you. I know I have spoken to people who have been in every type of position in, in a corporate world, in the entrepreneurial world, and they can at times be at the same place. What's next? Where do I go from here? Have you ever found yourself asking that? So the way to do that is to understand what is the purpose? Why do you need a what's next? Start asking yourself, well, why do I want to have a next milestone? Well, because I want to achieve this. Well, why do you want to achieve that? Well, because I'm looking to go here. It's like peeling an onion, right? There's all these layers to it. Until you can get to the core, that's when you really know what it is that you're after. But if you can't answer all of those why questions, which at times can be frustrating, you're never going to get to the core of what you truly want. What are you really after? Because if you are just falling into place with ideas of what you think you want, here's what's going to happen. And I know because I've been down this road before is it's almost like flip flopping. So you make a decision and you follow through. And let's say you say, okay, I'm going to try this new opportunity, right? I am going to join this new company. I'm going to take this new position. But why are you taking it? Does that position fulfill something for you? Or does it feel like it's just the next big challenge? And that's okay if challenge is what you're going for. But if challenge is not your goal, then why are you in that new position? So having a purpose behind what you're doing really helps. Going inside yourself can be really difficult because we don't give ourselves time to think. We There are many people who are afraid to be with their own thoughts. Have you ever, when was the last time you drove in the car without the radio on, just you and yourself and your thoughts? When was that? Because most people are afraid of what they're going to start thinking. So my question is this. What if at some point every day, you just gave yourself time with your thoughts and ask yourself, sometimes we're afraid of the answer. Have you ever been afraid of the answer to your own question? Like what's next? What do I really want? And the reason that that can happen is because we are scared. We are scared of our answer because what if that's not the road that we're on? What if we get disappointed? What if it's just scary? You know, maybe you're on a trajectory of wanting to scale your business. You want to make it larger. You want to make more of an impact. You want to reach a larger audience. But that's scary. It involves more work. It involves uh, putting yourself out in front of more people. So the other part of this equation is change. Because when we have a vision of our future, it requires change, change from what we're doing now, likely going into unknown waters. And that can be scary, especially if we're not entirely clear of why we're doing it. 
So let me go back into the story now of why I decided to talk about this topic today. Out of the blue, I received a message asking me if I would like, if I would be interested in running a company. And I tell you, the message stopped me in my tracks. And I thought, huh, well, that sounds like an interesting opportunity, doesn't it? Um, I appreciated that this person had done research on me. I appreciated that this person had, in, in the position that they have as vice president of this particular company, had thought enough of my qualifications and experience that I would be a suitable candidate for running a company. So I arranged to have a call with this person because I'm always open to opportunity. I am open to just see what's out there. I have learned that the more open-minded I am, the more opportunities come my way. It's really as simple as that. And I do this in all aspects of my life. So I'll do it for wellness. I'll do it for my health. I always research, right? They're, they're always educated. Uh, I use my intuition, but I also rely on research. And um, I don't typically ask people's opinions, though. I'll tell you why. Because unless you have been where I want to go, I'm not sure if you can understand how I'm feeling and and what my goals are, if that makes sense to you. So I had this call, and this is where the title of this podcast comes in today, um, Our Shocking Decisions, The Secret of Life. The man I was speaking to was so pleasant, such a professional. He asked such great questions. And what's interesting is he asked me if I was interested right at the beginning of the conversation, like there was no small talk. It was, you know, a little bit of, hey, how's it going? But it said, you know what, Catherine, I don't want to take up a lot of your time. But here's what I'd like to know. Are you interested in this position? And I simply said, tell me a little bit more about it. And that's how I'll know if I am. And so he gave me some background information on the company, what their goals are, who they're looking for, you know, the right information that I was looking for. And, uh, and he said, so tell me, is this something that would interest you? And I paused for a moment and my clarity of my vision forward of my future and what I am creating and where I want to be five years from now, which wasn't always very clear for me. It has become very clear to me over the last, uh, I'd say, year. I've, I've always known the direction, but now it's just really clear. So I said to him, I said, actually, no, I'm, I'm not interested. And there was just silence on the phone. I mean, silence. He, he just went quiet. I don't think he expected me to say that. And he said, oh, well, well that's interesting. Um, can you tell me more about that? Why wouldn't you be interested? So, you know, for me, I, I love talking to people. I really do because I get so much out of a conversation when there can be this really great, you know, discussion of ideas and thoughts and, and my insight. So I gave him insight into why this wouldn't be a position that I was interested in. And a lot had to do with uh, the information he gave me about the company, their goals, and what they were looking for. Because I have a lot of experience in uh, many different industries and in different positions, I gave him my, my thoughts. I was very honest. And I told him I'm a very honest, transparent person. So I am going to tell you what I think about this and why I think that it may not work in, in the capacity that you're giving me this, this scenario. And he very thoughtfully listened to everything. <laughs> And he was so quiet. I said, um, I said, you know, you're you're really quiet. I, I I feel like I'm talking a lot. He said, I have been taking notes as you've been talking. He said, I am now up to about a page and a half of notes. I am intensely listening to everything you're telling me because he said it has so much merit that I hadn't thought of 
so many things that you're, you're speaking to me about. And he said, I am actually speaking to a conference of leaders in a state next week. And you literally just gave me all the points that I am going to be bringing up with them. He said, you have no idea how interesting this conversation has been to me so far. I loved, first of all, hearing that because I'm always very thoughtful when I am giving feedback. It's never emotional. It's not opinionated. It's just insightful from different experiences that I've had, good and bad, of course. So I said, well, you know, um, I really do appreciate this opportunity. I just don't think it's the right one for me. And that's, again, the beauty of knowing what path you're on is that you don't feel bad. You don't feel like you've missed out on something because I'm so clear that that is definitely the direction that I do not want to go for that particular opportunity that he was presenting me. Now, here's where everything gets really interesting. We continued to talk for another 20 minutes about some of these insights that I had given him into the industry, into the people of the industry, into the mindset of the industry, and the the way that I, I believe that the, the way it should be going forward, right? This mindset, um, and I can, and I can, you know, give you a little bit of information about what I was, what some of my ideas are, is as we move forward, I do believe that there needs to be more community-based, a, a more community-based culture moving forward. We need to forget that and, and, and stop branding people as employees or these are, you know, whatever they are, they're agents, they are salespeople, they are, and, you know, we brand. And I said, I want, I want us to understand that these are human beings and human beings are both complicated and simple, complicated because they have emotions, but simple in the fact that they all really crave, you know, just one to three things in life, right? They want to be seen, they want to be heard, they want to be understood, and they want to feel appreciated. They also want to be a part of a group. They want to be feel like they are a part of something. And that something is typically very important to them. So I explained to him that I believe that this is the path forward when we are speaking about business and so on. So to carry on, you know, we finished our conversation and he said, wow. I literally have two and a half pages of notes from you. He said, I am so glad that we've had this conversation today. It has been very helpful to me. And here's what I want to help you with. So then he proposed his connections. He has such a high position that he was proposing to introduce me so that I can actually create my path forward with the clarity that I know I've got. He was going to introduce me to various numbers of people who would be able to help me accomplish my goals because I had helped him accomplish his goal from our conversation without him even realizing it. So trusting your intuition, having a, a plan, a clarity, a goal, knowing where you want to go is everything to yourself, your business, and your future. And knowing how to lead beyond today is important. I'm really excited about a course I am launching in May, and it is about creating a forward-thinking leadership. How do we move beyond today? How do we think? How do we make decisions? How do we implement things into our business and our lives to help keep us on track? Because my ultimate goal for everyone is to truly live your best life, to run the best business that you can in the time that you have to do it. So my question is this, are you committed to making decisions that are going to move you forward and really provide you this beautiful, big, beautiful, happy life? Are you committed to personal growth in shifting your mindset so that like this gentleman I was speaking to, you know, the conversation started one way, but once I started shifting the mindset of, you know, him coming into the call, 
but he left with a different idea. And that was so unexpected, but aren't the most beautiful things in life unexpected, right? When, you know, my course is going to be about taking people down that journey. It's 12 weeks and we are going to dive into every single part of your business, including your health and your wellness. We are going to create a business plan for you. I'm going to help you get clarity on where you want to go, how you're going to get there, the tools, the systems that you can implement to get where you want to go, to move you from here to there faster than you normally would. And all this is just going to be in 12 weeks. And then you will be that story. You will be that person who can then impact the people around you by what can happen in just 12 weeks. How phenomenal is that? Like it, it excites me that we can change a business, a life. We can change the trajectory of your future, even in times that are tough, even when the world feels like it's totally out of whack. We can still keep moving forward with our goals if we just know the right way to do it. If we just have that clarity, if we have that roadmap and we have the the dedication and commitment to want it, because that's really important, right? You have to really want it. So thank you for tuning in this week. Go to the links below, whether you're watching this on YouTube or you're listening to it in a podcast. If this program, this course that I'm going to be teaching for 12 weeks is intriguing to you and you're like, this sounds like something that I might be interested in, or I actually know someone who would really find this helpful. It is not industry specific. It is for any industry, any entrepreneur, any leader who just needs to get back on track. They just want a vision forward. You know what they want? They just want to know what's next. They want to figure out what is next. Where do I really want to go at this point in my life? We're going to solve all of that. So thank you for tuning in. You can always message me on any social media platform. I am here for you. Have an amazing week ahead. And uh, the future is so bright. I hope you realize that. Bye for now.